Today we have 7th and 8th grade students, middle school students, who are going through a simulation of basically mini med school. Dr. Britt put together this program um, where we were here yesterday for a keynote address and then today going through the different simulation labs to see some of the more hands-on experiences that one might have. 7th grade students, I guess you said, why so young? Well, we've had a pipeline problem in medicine. We don't have enough providers, we don't have enough nurses, we don't have enough doctors, we don't have enough physician assistants. I don't think we can start too early. We call this program the Mini Medical School for Norfolk Academy. So today is their day to just have a, a sampling of simulation of how we teach and take care of patients and all of that. I did not have this when I was starting out in the seventh grade. I didn't have it in high school. The students these days have so many things at their fingertips. They have technology that we didn't have before. My concern is do they have the same drive? They certainly have all the innovations technology, but you have to have that drive. At the end of the day, if you're not driven, you're not going to be successful. So yesterday, Dr. Britt started his lecture. It was really cute. He asked, you know, how many of you are, are interested in going into medicine? And maybe about half raised their hand and he said, we'll see what you say at the end, thinking that that number might go down. And at the end, their hands were all up and they were excited and, and wanting to know what we were doing today. When they gave the little five minute note, he said, you know, five minutes left. And they're like, no, we're not done. They just, they're, it's just really whetting their appetite for something that they might actually want to do. These students are very bright, particularly this generation. They want to do something to help. We still make a lot of mistakes in medicine. Uh, we have a lot of errors and all of that. I don't think we have a fine-tuned machine with electronic health records, so we need a Steve Jobs type person. And I'm hoping one of them will be that person. 